Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over the fuel system for the F5. So let's go over internal fuel first and we'll do external fuel later. So the F5 has uh, two fuel sections. It has the front section and the back section. The front section gives fuel to the left engine, the back section gives fuel to the right engine. Now why am I telling you this? The reason why is because you need to keep the two sections balanced. That's why the F5 has this auto balancing switch. So if you look at your fuel gauge here, you can see how much fuel is in the left section and in the right section. You can see the right section has way more fuel than the left section, so I need to balance them. In order to balance them, I put the switch to whatever section has less fuel. So the left section has less fuel, so I put it to left low. You don't have to worry about putting it back to the middle. Once the two sections have about equal fuel, it will automatically go back to the middle. All right, so let's go over the rest of the fuel system. So I already went over this, which is the fuel quantity. There's also the fuel flow gauge. This shows how much fuel is being used. So if I increase my throttles and I rev the engines up, obviously the engines are gonna start using more fuel. So down here where it says boost pumps, these are the two pumps for your left and right engines. Obviously you always want to have them on. Now there's also this switch that says cross feed. Now you might be wondering what is the point of this? This is for manually uh, balancing out the two fuel systems. So as I mentioned before, the auto balance switch is basically automatic. You just see which has less fuel. For us, it's the left system. So you just put it to left low and that's all you have to do. But if you want to, you could s put this switch back to the middle and you could balance out the fuel systems manually. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that because the automatic way is a lot easier, but if you want to do that, I'll show you how. So if you want to manually balance the fuel systems, first you turn on the crossfeed switch, then you find whatever system has less gas. So for me, the left system has less gas and you turn off that system's boost pump. So I'll turn off the left boost pump. Then basically you can fly like normal until uh, the left and right fuel systems even out. The manual says that once they get within 100 pounds, um, then they're pretty much evened out and you can go ahead and turn both of the boost pumps back on. Now, once you turn the boost pump back on, once they're evened out, the manual says don't immediately turn the cross feed off. You should wait two minutes and then turn it off. So that's the manual balancing system, but for me, I would just recommend using the automatic one. So the next fuel controls are the shutoff switches. Um, which are all the way on the left. There's covers for them so you can shut off the left fuel system or the right fuel system. This is mainly used for an emergency, like if you have an engine fire, you can shut off the fuel to the right engine. All right, so I just got into a new plane uh, that's almost out of gas. The reason why is to show you these caution lights here. Whenever you are almost out of gas, you will have these lights come on and you have one light for each system. So you can see my left fuel system is low on gas and my right fuel system is low on gas. Basically, when you see this, you know it's time to fly back to the airport. Okay, so that was the internal fuel system. Now let's go over the external fuel system. So the F5 can carry three external tanks. To put the tanks on, on the ground, you just click backslash on your keyboard, ground crew, rearm, and it'll come up with this menu. So you can put a tank on the center and you can also put tanks on pylons three and five on the wings. You can put 150 gallon tanks or also 275 gallon. So here's what the plane looks like with the tanks on. You can see I got the 150 gallon tanks on the wings and the big 275 gallon in the center. So in order to use your external tanks, you gotta select the one you wanna use. So if I wanna use my wing tanks, I come here and flip up pylons and now the plane will start drawing fuel from the wings. And if I want to use the center tank, I turn the pylon switch off and I flip up the center tank switch. Whenever your external tanks run out, there will be this light here that says external tanks empty. So um, if your external tank runs out, you, go, you basically just turn off the pump. So for me, my wing tanks ran out, so I just turn the wing pump off. And whenever you turn the pump off, the light will go out. And if you have other external tanks, for example, I also have a center tank, you can also turn your other one on. So I'll turn my center tanks on. Whenever your center tank runs out, the light will come on again to show that you're out of gas, so you can turn the booster pump off. If you wanna jettison your external tanks, you just come down to this panel right here. 
So you need to use these switches to select the tanks you want to jettison. Let's say I want to jettison my wing tanks. Then I'd flip up these two switches here. And then I'd put this switch to select position. And I'd click the red button. And you can see my wing tanks are gone now. If you try to jettison all your tanks at the same time, um, you'll notice it will only jettison your center tank. So if I flip all these up, and I do select position, and I click the red button, you can see only my center tank got jettisoned. That's because you can only do one at a time. So if I want to jettison my wing tanks, then I have to turn the center tank off and click it again. And now you can see the wing tanks are gone. There's also an emergency jettison button to just get rid of everything. It's this yellow cap right here. You click it to get rid of the cap, and then you click this, and it just drops everything. So you can see it dropped all my tanks. That was fuel management for the F5. Thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you later.